Johnny Appleseed. It's September 1796 in a small country town in Pennsylvania, America. A new baby, John Chapman, opens his eyes for the first time. He looks out of the window and sees an apple tree. When John is a young man, he has a dream. I see a land full of apple trees, he says. Nobody is hungry there because there are apples for everyone. The next morning, John leaves home. His coat is an old coffee sack, and his hat is a tin pot. He takes with him only a spade and a bag of apple seeds. John walks and walks. Over the hills and across the plain, under the sun and through the rain, he sings. And all the time, John plants apple seeds. Big trees come from little seeds, he says. At this time, many people in America are moving west. They are making new towns with shops and houses in them. You need trees, too, John tells the people in the new towns. And he plants his apple seeds there. The town people give him a new name. Johnny Appleseed. Johnny is a good friend of the Indians, too. One day, in a small town, John sees a young boy. Here, boy, says John. Take these apple seeds and plant them. Thank you, says the boy. What's your name? asks John. Abe, says the boy. Abraham Lincoln. Sometimes, years later, John goes back to a town or village the people are always happy to see Johnny Appleseed again. And when he sees his apple trees, he feels happy too. When Johnny Appleseed is ill, the Indians help him to get well again. After many long years, John Chapman dies. But in towns and villages all across America, Johnny Appleseed's trees are alive today, and many have nice red apples on them now. The End